boys we got our hands full no this channel has not become restore vehicle kind of channel but paul got to an auction and he put in his bid and this is what he got i was at that auction for a different reason but um i'll show you why i ended up why i favor this vehicle and why i gave her a little bit higher bid and wanted to increase my chances of picking this vehicle up it's all because of that manual um i didn't go crazy on it good old manual truck let me show you battery has some juice to it so i can show you the mileage 122 boys this is a good working man's truck actually a woman owned this thing based off those pink sunglasses and that might not be enough um all this kind of stuff in the armrest uh girly necklaces around here somewhere oh I actually pulled them out already um so yeah back to this it's a six-speed manual obviously paul got a little bit of time and you could clearly see that starting posting youtube videos got time to go to auctions no i ain't flexing i'm just saying i'm doing what i love doing um so yeah back to the point we got a parts vehicle coming our way actually i gotta finish the paperwork and then get it my way um so that vehicle has the cab it has the doors it has the dash and everything um it's gonna be fun it's gonna be a really fun little project here i'll show with y'all what i'm thinking well that didn't work out very smoothly nope, let's try that again so just wanted to show you around the cab so you could tell exterior and interior i mean she's done hers up there if someone really had a time and patience they could probably replace some portion of this roof and save the other ones um, I've seen some body guys that would probably go off of the skin there and then kind of do the A pillar, B pillar kind of deal. I'm not a body guy, but I would imagine that's how a professional would fix it to keep it as efficient as possible. And that's not me. I'm just throwing another cab on this thing. So she's all three out of the four doors, three of them are good. So we're going to obviously salvage good parts leave them alone and the bad parts are going to get swapped out from the parts truck so let me show you under the hood we got a tree that laid down on her oh let me she's leaning in i don't know if you can tell on the video but the axle's leaning in most importantly it missed the engine the main major components obviously some stuff that's baked to crap and kind of pushed down but that's an easy fix it really is guys when you swap the the cab out with the a the a arms not a arms aprons whatever they call these the frame part that the fender bolts onto it should be a pretty straightforward fix so cab sheet metal up front and then with the cab's going to come the ar apron so should be good to go um kind of suspected the frame but i figured before the frame would bend i don't know if any of you well i'm pretty sure some of you guys mess with frames um uh, before the bent, the frame would bend i would expect tires to blow wheels to pop a lot more low than this so i kind of excluded that one so yeah excited about her let me know in the comment section what exactly you want to see. I'll tell you what I'm going to do with this vehicle. I'm putting up my white six-speed manual up for sale. So if I could sell it for the right amount. Um, around here, they're going for mid-20s, clean ones. So I think that's what I'll post my white one. So if I could sell it for mid-20s, this is going to become the shop truck. And if I can't sell my white six-speed manual, wherever it is. It's an 03. Oh, it's out back, hooked up to the dump trailer. Um... So if I can't sell my 03 for for my appropriate amount, I have a lot of money into that, in my opinion. More than that truck's really worth, but the market yields so much more for me, so I was never really worried about it. More importantly, it, it gets the job done for me for what I need of that white truck. End of this video, I'll walk to it. I'll show you. Oh, this truck's going to be it if that truck sells, and if it doesn't, then we'll sell this one. But the idea with it is um, restoring it, Put a leveling kit on it and put in some wheels and tires. Yep. Yeah.
that's it boys that's all we're gonna do i don't know if you're excited but i am we'll get her done and get her back on the road and have some fun with her um yeah as always may the lord bless you may y'all mighty fine day and for you guys curious about my 03 i don't know the boys already closed the gate but i think you still see it it's a good old white 03 with a uh NV5600, which I favor those. Put some money in to restore it and whatnot. So, the drive line, someone put an aftermarket drive line on there, probably because they ran into the same thing as I did. When you go to the dealer, they don't carry them anymore. So, there you have it. So, that's the 03. It's hooked up to that dump trailer back there. So, yeah. I think the mileage on that's right about a couple hundred thousand so we'll see either i know i can sell that fourth jet and make some money on it or i'll just sell my l3 and keep fresher vehicles in the fleet all righty boys as always may the lord bless you may y'all mighty fine day ciao bye